Hey guys, so in this video we are going to discuss strings in stream, uh, string stream. So we'll be discussing the concept, the in implementation in C++ and also the use cases. So this is going to be a short video, but I'll make sure that all the concepts that you require for basic DSA and basic uh, competitive programming are covered in it. So with that, let's get started. So what is a string? So if you have watched the earlier video that was on STL, you would already know what string is. I had actually discussed about strings in detail over there. But just to give a short overview, a string is basically a, correct, uh, a collection of characters in a particular order which you can modify and change as per your requirements. So for example, this is a string, right? Hello world. This is one of the most common strings that ask uh, engineers that we know. Cool. So what are, what are the various operations can, we can perform on a string? So we can say that, okay, I'm having a string is, let's say I'm having a string is, that is hello, right? Then I can say that I want to add something at the end of the string, right? So I can add something at the end of the string. So for that, what I can say is that S is equal to, like string is equal to string plus some other string as well. So there would be some other string. So if I do that, so my S would become hello and this other string. So over here, the text actually was other string. So it would become hello other string. Or you could have said, uh, instead of other string, you could have said hello world. So in that case, it would have become hello world. Although it's not recommended to add strings like this, rather than doing a s is equal to s plus whatever string you want to add, it's always advised to use s plus equal to whatever string you want to add. Now you might ask the reason for this. So the reason is that when you are writing it in this form, right? So this complexity is order of n plus m, where your n is actually the size of the string itself. Right. However, in this particular case, the time uh, complexity re reduces to order of m because this is specially overloaded. So this is overloaded in such a case that it becomes actually a append operation. So whenever you are dealing with strings, make sure that you are using this kind of uh, this kind of an operation and not this. So this is a tip I think a lot of people miss, but this is really important when you're doing CP. Cool. So are there more operations with strings? Yes, there are ample number of operations with string that you can do. So there's something called a pushback. Now, what is a pushback operation? That sounds familiar, right? In vectors, we have a pushback operation, if you remember. So in string, also we have a pushback operation. So let's say I have a word hello, right? Or I have a string hello. On this, if I push back some character, let's say I push back exclamation mark. So then it would become hello and then exclamation mark. So pushback basically means pushing a character to the end of the string itself. What about more operations? Yes, there are ample number of more operations. So there's something called a substring and this is one of the most used, used function. So sub, substring function basically means that we have a string, right? So this is my string. Let's say I am coding. Cool. This is my string. Now in this particular string, I need a section of it, a contiguous section. So when I, uh, when I say a contiguous section, I mean that uh, within the section. So if I'm saying this particular section, then no character would be missing, right? So I have to select this entire thing. So that is called a substring. Now I can easily select a substring. What I need to give or the parameters I need to give to the substring would be. Okay. So it would be S dot substring followed by the starting index. So this is the index zero index one. This is the index two, right? So I'll say two followed by the size of the substring that we want. So here would come size. In this case, the size would be one, two, three, four, five, right? So I'll say two comma five and the value for two comma five for the substring would be um cool i don't i know it doesn't make any sense but yeah just giving you an example so cool with that substring is also done. what what else uh, so there is a gen generic uh, function that can be used across a lot of stl functions that is called dot size dot size basically gives us uh, the size of that particular stl right or uh, the size of that particular container or that particular uh, you can say object yeah a particular object rather so when you do s dot size or uh, like s is a string over here so when you ask for its size it will just return you the number of characters that you are having in that particular string what more so we have insert we have transform there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of operations or a lot of functions that you can use uh, for your reference i'll give you i'll give a link uh, to in the description you can have a good uh, you know view from that but now let's get on to the implementation part 
but before i start with the implementation part let's try to understand what is string stream right because string stream is something i think a lot of people don't know but it's really really helpful now what stream in general so stream is like uh, when you have water running for, for analogy i can say that when a water is running you say that it's a uh, water stream right so then what is string stream so string stream basically means a, a stream of words right but you don't need to get into the details of that the reason being that it most of the time would only be used when you want to uh, get words from from a sentence so what i mean by that is that if i have a word that i am a coder right so if this this is the sentence i am having now this these are the words in it i am a coder right now how do we uh, say that these are individual words that is because they are separated by something called a delimiter so over here spaces are considered as delimiter so what a delimiter means is that if you are having two words what is separating them so they are separated by delimiter right so we call this a delimiter now you can actually implement this on a, on your own you can say that i'll uh, start a loop and then i'll i'll be checking if i am having a delimiter and then i'll be popping the answer and all, all of that stuff that's uh, that is one thing you can do the other thing is you can use string stream so okay string stream so in stream uh, string stream i uh, don't worry i'll be discussing the implementation also but what you can do in string stream is that you can tell them okay i uh, i need you to get me all the words in this particular string and this is the delimiter so you have to tell them the uh, okay so firstly you have to initialize object of string stream then you have to tell them where you want to store these words and then the delimiter so over here the delimiter is space so once you uh, get this uh, get it this information it would do the required work, work for you and it would be giving you the tokens or the words you actually need so we'll also be discussing this implementation implementation i i guess the idea of string stream is at least clear so let's jump to the implementation part so let's firstly start with strings right so string s let's say i take the use uh, input from the user let me try to print it first so printing and uh, like inputting and outputting the string is similar okay so the input i had given was hello world and it's giving me the same output so cool that's working now what's uh, what more i can do i already told you that you can append strings uh, like this so let's say hello world this is a new string i'm just writing uh, writing any gibberish let's try it out cool so hello world this is a new string that works now let's try substring right so s dot sub str let me give a random maybe okay so let me say 13 and 3 or oh, let's say 3 or uh, 3 uh, 3 comma 3 or 3 comma 4 so what should it give me i'll just print this value whatever it's giving me cool okay so it was giving me l o w o now why is that the case so if you remember in case of substring we are checking uh, we are giving it to in uh, two parameters that is the index and the size so this is the size of the string and this is the index now if we start from the, uh, start in a string so the like the index at 3 uh, like the character at 3 is 0 1 2 3 right so we are at this 3 when we are talking of uh, the ind index 3 right we are at l and from l if we get four characters so they would be l o w o right so that's what we are printing out here so we are printing l o w o cool now what would happen if i give it a only a single index let's say i just give it three then what would happen let's try that out as well cool so uh, as you can see that when you gave it a single index so it knew that you are talking about the index only and you are not giving me the size so if you're not giving me the size i'll assume that you want the entire string itself so i'll be printing or the system would be printing the entire string that is start that starts from that particular index three cool i can change the index and you can see the same thing so let's say 10 So now you said 10, so it started from the 10th correct, uh, 10th index itself. Cool enough. Now what else? So okay. So let's talk about string stream. So string stream, right? Let's uh, let's keep that string s, yes. or let's just initialize a new string. This is a new string. Right. Let me clear my input. So my input is now empty because I'm hard coding all the values. Cool enough. So this is the new string. I'll save it. 
the uh, place I want to store my strings is token. And then this is the syntax. So you actually need to know the syntax. So this is the syntax. So when you write string stream, so this should be uh, like written like that. That's pretty obvious. In the parameter, however, so firstly you'll be giving it a name. So let me call it uh, ss. Ss makes sense to me. So ss and in the parameters, you'll be providing for which string do you want to uh, run this string stream for. So I'll be saying that this string stream I want to run for s or the string s. Cool. So with that, then we have to tell that I want to run this string stream while get line of ss token comma. Now let me explain what this is. So what I'm saying is that I want you to get me the tokens from this particular string until it's empty or until everything is processed. Right? This is the way of telling it. So you have to remember while and get line only from here. Now you're telling them that what is the string stream you are using? Where do you want to store these values? And what's your delim delimiter? So once you have that, I can simply start using the values and the values would now be stored in token because you're telling them that you want to store the values in token. So in each iteration, it would be going to a token. It would be going to a word. It would be storing uh, storing them in that particular string that you had provided. So the string we had provided was token. So it would be store, uh, storing those values in token itself. Right. And I'm printing the tokens over here. So now let's see how it works. Cool. So this says this is a new string that actually are the words I had over here. Cool. So with that even string stream is done. One thing is remaining is that I told you was uh, s dot size, right? So let's look at s dot size also. Cool. So when you do s dot size, it tells you 20. Now why 20? So 20 would be the number of characters you have in this string. Let's try to calculate it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. So you have a total of 20 characters and that's why s dot size gives you 20 in total. So yeah, that's it about uh, string stream and strings. There are more things that can be covered, but these are the major things that you're actually going to use in uh, most of the questions whenever you're doing CP or problem solving even. If you think that there are more methods that I need to cover or more functions that I should be covering, you can let me know in the comment section below or on the Discord server. Always more than happy to help you out. Cool guys, thanks a lot. I hope that this video made sense to you or made you learn something new. Bye-bye.